DeRay Pesca stroked the little boy's head kindly. This behavior made Carter very angry. Carter tells DeRay Pesca to stop. DeRay Pesca didn't stop and chatted with the little boy, so Carter smashed the bottle into DeRay Pesca's head. As a result, Carter was arrested and taken to the police station. John, the police officer in charge of the case, identified Carter as an attempted robbery. You become a dangerous man in later life. I only wish you were old enough to send you to state prison. A juvenile detention center is actually like a prison. Carter, who had been in prison for eight years, escaped from the juvenile detention center. Carter joins the army. Carter also became confident and sunny, but Carter never imagined that the policeman John had been staring at Carter all the time. Carter was taken back to jail that night. Carter didn't escape this time. Carter practiced boxing in prison and read books during his breaks. When Carter got out of prison, he set two goals for himself. One is to never step into prison again, and the other is to become the world boxing champion. More than 10 years of exercise have made Carter stronger. In his first year out of prison, Carter won the Boxer of the Year award. Carter is known as the Hurricane King. But in the corner, the old policeman John was still staring at Carter. John kept trying to catch Carter. Carter has no handle. John had no choice but to find someone to plot against Carter. John hires Bella to secretly record Carter. That night, Carter was retaliated against, and doors and windows were smashed. Even in the second day of the game, Carter beat his opponent, and the referee still awarded the opponent victory. Amidst the cheers of the audience, Carter turned around silently. He knew it was all about racism. Carter has never been ashamed of being black. John felt like it wasn't over yet. John took advantage of a murder and put all the charges on Carter. John bought witnesses and colluded with the judge to send Carter to prison for the second time. This time, Carter received a life sentence without a word of explanation. It's not that Carter doesn't want to speak, but that there is no room for him to speak here. Even in this colony, there is no place for him to speak. Facing fate, Carter's only struggle is not to wear a prison uniform because he knows he is innocent. Warden Waxman was furious, and no one dared to defy his words here. Waxman put Carter in solitary confinement for three months. At this moment Carter was still wearing a suit, he still did not give in. The prison found him a set of clothes without any logo. Carter began to learn legal knowledge, his only hope is to reverse the case. Seven years later, Carter began to appeal, but the result was rejected again and again. Some blacks started marching for Carter. I hope Carter can be tried again. There were also several white people who spoke out for Carter. Among them, the three whites from Canada contributed the most to Carter, and the whites were more convincing. The three white men met Carter because they adopted the black Lester. Lester bought an old book at the bookstall. It was written by Carter. After reading the book, Lester admired Carter very much. Lester also wrote to Carter, and Carter wrote back. Lester and Carter become friends. The three white men also learned about Carter's deeds. But at this time Carter was the most pessimistic moment, and he wanted to give up the appeal many times. After the three white men learned of Carter's deeds, they moved from Canada to the United States. Even moved to the opposite side of the prison. Just to let Carter know that there are still people out, they're helping him reverse the case. Yeah, I see you. What are you doing? On the night of the incident, two white men were killed in a bar. Carter is still dancing. There are many who can attest. But John bought the forensic doctor and set the time of the crime as 2 o'clock in the middle of the night and then bought the witnesses to believe that Carter was the murderer. If you want to reverse the case, you must find witnesses and insiders. Before a few people found the evidence, John found out. John first threatened them and then hinted at Carter's black identity. John caused the car accident. Fortunately, a few people are not serious. The last few people finally found the evidence. A retired police officer confirmed that he was called at 2.18 and the time of death of the deceased in the Carter murder was 2.45, which proves that someone falsified the time of the incident. This time, Carter's appeal was finally granted. In the end, Carter won the case in court. The judge announced his release in court, and John, the policeman who had framed Carter, was also present. There was no remorse in John's expression. At the end of the film, Policeman John is not punished. Because at that time, this kind of thing was a common phenomenon, so he was not punished. The Lester family who helped Carter at the beginning also returned to Canada. The film also ends here, 